What's going on, folks? I'm Automatic, and today we're going to talk about Colleen's Crush Counters. Mainly just her uh, neutral hard punch and her neutral hard kick, or 5 HP and 5 HK. So, the first thing we want to talk about is this button here, which is neutral hard punch. So, this might be one of the fastest moves in the game that can crush counter. I haven't done my research on that, but I'm guessing eight frames of startup is pushing it, pushing it pretty close. If you look at Balrog, his standing roundhouse, this button, that button is ridiculous, right? Pretty fast, crush counters, uh, plus three on block. This is one more frame faster than that. Can you imagine? And it's also bufferable, which is a very important uh, concept of it, which we'll go over. And um, so since it's uh, eight frames of startup. That means you're gonna, you can, you can be, you're able to use it as a whiff punish, uh, and you can also use it as a poke because it's quick. It's, it recovers fairly quickly at 19 frames, 29 total active frame move. So it's pretty good, and it's hard to, it's, it's hard to punish. She doesn't uh, exactly. If you look at the hitbox video that's attached in my guide uh, from Tool Assisted, she doesn't like go backwards. At any point, but she does go forward and then backwards. So she extends and, 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 and she extends then retracts. But uh, if you try to punish her while she's extended and then she retracts, it's, it's very deceiving. And as we all know, the game lags for about 6.2. or it, The game lags and makes it more difficult to punish things. But uh, conversely, it's more easier to punish with this button than it is for people to punish you because it is faster typically than most um, most crush counters and heavy normals. So let's talk about what you would do if you were to even crush counter them. So this move is a little peculiar in that it's only plus eight if you crush counter somebody. Usually you have the, um, it's kind of like standard to crush counter somebody and then dash up and then do a combo. With this, not so much. Really all you can do at plus eight at the distance that it leaves you is your crouching medium kick, which is eight frames of startup. And super, which you can do at more ranges. And to be honest, um, if you were going to super, you would want to go into Hard Punch par Parabola first, and then super off of that. That would do more damage. But as a sort of failsafe, if you see your Hard Punch Crush Counter and you re react to it very late, then you can go into the super, and you would be linking into this. But that's not really... Linking off of her Crush Counter or 5 HP is not really the goal here. So, in order to really get to the goal, I have to first explain the difference between... The difference between crush countering somebody and hitting somebody with a normal hit, or if they block as well. But basically, what you have is a longer window of time where you can cancel into your special move, and that's the main focus here with Colleen's uh, neutral hard punch crush counter. Is hard punch Parabellum is not safe to do if they block it, but since you can confirm or verify uh, or option select the crush counter and just buffer it at a later time, where it only hits them if, the, if it crush counters, then it's going to hit them. You're not, you're not concerned with it not being safe on block. So what am I talking about? Uh, allow me to demonstrate. With the opponent guarding everything. So I'm going to always buffer into Hard Punch Parabellum, but so late that it's not going to come out. Because I'm doing it later than the window of time of where it would happen, for example, like on block here. That would mean I'm doing it too early. But if I'm using it around the same time and it crush counters them, I can do it much later. So the way that you can train yourself to find that window of time is to put counter on random. So if you're buffering at the right time, then you'll only get it if it crush counters them. That means I'm doing it too slow. So I should demonstrate the idea pretty closely. Now there's 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 an also uh, there's something I should point out with this though, because if you're actually buffering at that time and your hard punch doesn't hit them, it's likely that your parapellum will come out uh, if it whips, and that's what you don't want because that's that's avoiding the whole idea. Uh, so, what you really want to do here, optimally, is either find a, a place where you're guaranteed to hit them with uh, standing hard punch, 
or crush counter, uh, react to the crush counter, and then only buffer in once you see the crush counter happen. That's not always going to happen. Sometimes you're not going to be ready for it to crush counter. And like in training mode, I can do this pretty well with a random counter and then just do it on reaction. But I might not be... I'm... Well, here you go. There we go, that's better. I might not, as you can see, it's not always something guaranteed that I'll, I'll be prepared for, or or that I have the execution for. So it's good to have a balance of both and know what in what situation uh, would set you up the most for success. So if you don't feel like you're in range, you might not want to buffer into anything. And sometimes, this is aside from the crush counter aspect, sometimes I'm not sure at all what's going to happen. So I'll just always go into the Light Punch Parabellum. Even though it's negative 4, at this range, it's very difficult for mo most characters to punish. Uh, Ibuki and Ryu, uh, and maybe some more, but they have a, a long range 4 frame normal, so it's it's much more easier for them to punish it. But if I'm not sure if it's going to crush counter or if it's going to whiff, I'll go to Light Punch Parabellum in this situation. Because it's a safer option and I don't trust my instincts at that point. So, uh, yeah. Off of Crush Counter, Standing Hard Punch, between Hard Punch Parabellum and EX Parabellum, those are the two things you want to go into. You can go into uh, Hailstorm as well, but there are ranges where, where it will whiff. Uh, you can combo uh, EX Vanity Step, but it's not really worth it. You get 234 damage. Well, let's look at the accurate number. So if you compare what you would get off of EX Parabellum, 295. And then you look at EX Vanity Step, where you have to spend a meter to get 252. It's not worth it. Um, and it might even not whip. And you're also committed. You don't know if this is going to crush counter. I, I suppose you could do the same thing, but at some ranges, it won't work. Like I, like you can see here, it's not always going to have the range. So EX Vanity Step into Silver Edge is not really good. It's not very good. Um, and that's pretty much it. The focus, in my opinion, is... To get Heart Punch Parabellum and EX Parabellum for sure off of your standing Heart Punch. So the next normal I want to go over is much more simpler. It does express the idea of crush counter them and then you dash up and then you do a combo. And there's two combos that I want to specifically point out. Uh, you have dash up crouching strong and then you go into your target combo. This is good for a couple of reasons. Um, your... Your target combo into V-Skill also builds you V-Trigger Meter. So on top of getting 25% or half of a bar from crush countering them, you build an additional, an additional uh, however, however much damage this V-Skill does to So that puts you in a really good spot. And oftentimes you'll get this off of a reversal. Uh, I don't recommend using this in footsies. If, because if your opponent is crouching, this will whiff. You can actually hit them um, standing if you knock them down, for example. If you hit this on the first frame, it will hit them. But if your opponent is matching a normal that is uh, crouching normal, it'll whiff and you'll get hit instead. So they could even, like a Buki could even like match on her crouching fierce and this would actually work in this situation. So I don't really recommend doing that. It is there, but there are answers that, that are too convenient for your opponent as well. Uh, but the other, the other option that I have to go over is when this crush counters, you can walk up and hit standing hard punch, and off of that standing hard punch, you can go into the next card bottom, and that will do the most damage for you. If I'm not mistaken. So, for example, um, if we were to put the two together, I would want crush counter. I will go, I'll go into hard punch parabellum here. And I'll make Kabuki do her four frame reversal. So I'm going to demonstrate two things here. Uh, hard punch crush counter into hard punch parabellum. And this is corner only. And then I'm going to set up a four frame safe jump off of no recovery. She's going to EX uh, do her invincible reversal, which is four frames of startup. And then I'm going to land. And then I'm going to punish with standing roundhouse. And then go into walk up, hard punch, EX parabellum. All right, let's see if I can do it. On the first try. Oh, I did the button too late. So, okay. There we go, that should be good. Good, good. So, those are the most, some of the most valuable things you can do with her crush counters as far as the 5 HP and the 5 HK. Now, you also have um, 
four, four hard kick, which is this, and the crushing hard kick. And we'll go over those in a later date, but the most important ones are the neutral hard punch and neutral hard kick. So that'll be it for today. You can check out my cooling guide. It'll be uh, linked in the description below. And this is not it at all. <laughs> this here. You'll find a link in the description. This will give you more setups, uh, such as the four frame normal, no recovery setup that I just demonstrated that led into the 5HK. And you'll see lots of information here. There's an exercise portion of it that'll condition you to, to learn how to do the um, good, good things with Colleen, such as her target combo, um, uh, some recovery setups, some exercises in identifying how your opponent gets up off the ground so you can respond to things differently. It teaches you quite a bit, and there's a lot in process that I'm going to continue to add to it. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And you can check me out also on twitch.tv slash automatic. Thanks for watching. I'll take care. Peace.